Hello everyone. Welcome back to Gajaroy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Wayfinder is having crashing issue. It is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how you can fix this app. So let's dive into this. The first one is all about when you're having this issue you can try with the fish one that is all about we have to do a restart. For this just go over here in the start icon over here click over here and go to this particular icon go for the simple restart once the restart is done just try launch the game if restart is not working you can try with the next one that is all about we can try with verify integrity of game file so this is actually a fix which helps us to fix if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this just go over here in the wayfinder right click over here and go to the properties go from here go to the install it files and there is an option called verify integrity of game file so the game is run 47.06 gb so if i click on this it's going to take a lot of time so when you click on the verify integrity of game file what happens is every single files will be cross checked and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed from here which is resulting in this kind of issue so once this reach 100 percentage and you get the play button try launching the game Next one is all about most probably most users launch the game from here which result in crack all these kind of issues so we need to try launch the game from the installation folder not from the steam for the installation folder just go over here in the game over here in the left right click over here and go to the properties go to install it file and just click on the browse that will take you to this particular folder over here so if you go over here you can see this is the folder So right now from if over here if you go to this particular folder you can see at the top just go to the engine over here but you can find uh, this the application over here so this is not the application let me check it once again so we need to find i have to make a video on how to find this one that is how to find the uh, here so i'll do one thing so just launch the game from here that will be working fine for you guys so just go to the do uh, d over here go to steam library once again let me go to the apps go to common and here we will be find the way find it so this has to be launched so this has to be launched so this is the application so launch this one and most probably the issue will be completely fixed so after launching from here if the issue is still persists you can try with the next one that is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so right click over here right click over here and go to the show more option go to properties go to compatibility click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay and try launch the game this might work for you in cases if that is not working you can also try with next one that is we need to run uh, run the game in the compatibility mode right click over here and go to show more option go to properties go to compatibility set the student this program in compatibility mode you can try with windows 7 or windows 8 you can give windows 7 go for apply and go for okay either you can give to windows 8 go for apply and go for okay close this go back and try launch the game next one is all about we can turn the time time zone and region so just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to the time and language go to the date and time over here make sure the time and time zone should be turned on go back and also you can see there is a language and region option make sure this is been selected so as you can see you have to select the appropriate geography that's according to your country so if you are from united states select this one if you are on united kingdom select the respective one once you set this up you just need to go back and try launch the game Next one is all about we need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard. So just keep pressing alt and tab from the keyboard. The same moment you have to launch the game. This street worked for many users so you can try this out just press alt and tab from the keyboard and the same time we have to launch the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well. Next one is all about we need to delete the saved game files so just go to the file explorer over here go to this pc go to documents over here and you will be find the folder of the game. that is uh, the respective folder wayfinder if you find the folder delete the folder and keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine just do this and once afterward just close this and go back and try launch in the game next one is all about we need to uh, allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the search and we have to go to control panel just go over here in the control panel go for system and security go for windows defender firewall 
Now from here go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall and from here we have to scroll down and navigate to W that is we have to go for Wayfinder. So keep scrolling down and navigate to W over here. So we need to find the folder Wayfinder and we have to make sure the private and public should be checked. So this is very important and once you set this up, you have to launch the key. Imagine the game is not added, just click on the change settings and we have to go for allow another app. Go for browse, go to this PC, go to Doculus D, Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to select this one and we have to go over here this one and go for open and add it. So I'm getting the arrow because it's already added. Once you add this, just close this, go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the USB devices. So our computers might be filled up with many things, for example, controllers, mouse, joystick, even many other things will be already connected. So this even goes the issue up. So we just need to remove everything, unplug all the USB devices. Once after that, just launch the game. And if you wanted to continue playing the game with the controller, just connect it back and try launch the game. And that will be working fine for you guys as well. Next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot just go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the search go to system configuration services go for disable all hide all Microsoft services go for apply and go for ok so that's gonna ask you for restart those who are watching this go for restart I'm gonna go for exit without a restart once you exit without a restart you can try launch the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well. Next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties make sure if this is turned on you have to turn this off once after turning this off you have to launch the game if that is not working try with the next one that is launch option we can give the command in the launch option and try launch the game the first command is dx11 try with dx11 and launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine because it worked for many users so this will be working fine for you guys as well so you can try with dx11 or you can try with dx12 and launch the game even after trying with this the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is all about we need to close all the overlay application just go over here in the start right click over here and go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so over here as you can see all these things are also being running in the background at the same time when you launch the game which is resulting in the crashing issue so we need to remove the unwanted things from here you can check over here and you will be able to find this up just remove everything from here the unwanted things has to be removed or else you'll be having keep on having the crashing issue for example discord Overlay applications like Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, all these are one of the main example for crashing issue. So remove all these kind of things and once after that just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go to graphics settings over here and you will be able to find this. And over here as you can see many games are added just click on the browse over here and go to this pc go to local disk d and we have to go to steam library go to steam apps go to common now from here we have to go to wayfinder and we have to select this and go for add so once the game is added just go for the option make sure this will be let the uh, this this is how it looks like let windows decide to change this to high performance nvidia geoforce rtx we have to change this to this one go for save and we have to close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory just go over here in the search and we have to go for view advanced system setting go to advanced go for setting once again go to advanced once again go for change right now if you sell this one you, you cannot be able to select anything so just uncheck this and select the lock list where the game is installed and in my case it is d go for the custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here we need a calculator so multiply 32 gb is this is the ram so you have to type your ram and multiply with a constant value 1024 and multiply with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just copy this and we have to paste it next one is all about we need to multiply 32 gb multiply with 1024 and we have to multiply with 3 that is 98304 so just copy this and we have to paste it so once you set this up we just need to go for ok and once everything is ok try launch the game even after increasing the virtual memory it's still it's not working then try updating the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd 
of nvidia users have to go over here in this particular page select everything like product type product series product operating system language etc set this to windows 11 so select everything and go for start search so once you go for start search and we have to go over here and if you find this one 536.99 is the released version and it is on august 8 2023 so just download this one install and restart is a mandatory one because uh, the restart is very important and once uh, done with this one those who are on the amd just go over here select every details over here and go for submit when you go for submit you will be getting two options if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can download this one install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about you can go to this particular one that is microsoft you should see plus plus so just go to this link and if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one because most probably the system will be based on x64 so download this one install a restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so even after installing with this still the issue is there the next is we have to uh, update the windows just go over here in the search go to settings over here go to the windows update update the windows and make sure the windows is up to date once you're updating with this one and trying all these things and still the issues there you can try with the next one that is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the manage and install the game for reinstalling it back you can try with either c or d you can try with any one of the thing so if the game is already in c try with installing on d if the game is in d try installing it back it on c and this is what you have to do and these are the possible workaround which can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye